this video, we'll introduce you to research through FSU's library database, achieving three goals. First, it will help you learn to navigate the library website and its features. Second, it will teach you how to locate peer-reviewed and non-scholarly sources. Third, it will show you how to research using subject databases so that you can find research within certain fields. In this first segment, I'll introduce Research's conversation and show you how to navigate the homepage of the library site. Kenneth Burke compares the research process to arriving at a party late. He writes, Imagine that you enter a parlor. You come late. When you arrive, others have long preceded you, and they are engaged in a heated discussion, a discussion too heated for them to pause and tell you exactly what it is about. You listen for a while until you decide that you have caught the tenor of the argument, then you put in your oar. Someone answers, you answer him, another comes to your defense, another aligns himself against you. However, the discussion is interminable. The hour grows late, you must depart, and you do depart with the discussion still vigorously in progress. If we embrace that metaphor, then research becomes a way of identifying what has been said, discovering answers to our questions so that when it is our opportunity to speak, we have something relevant and rational to say, and engaging with conversations happening in our fields of study. The library site will help us step into those parlors, so to speak, and learn about the conversations that are being held across the topics we are researching. I'll begin by typing in www.lib.fsu Dot edu and entering the home page. The home page has important information. For instance, if I need to check library locations or hours, that information is visible through this icon on the home page. I can also borrow equipment like a video camera and tripod or book a study room. But today I'm going to focus on three features on this home page, the research guides, the ask a librarian tool, and the search box. The research guides are organized by subject and built by our subject librarians. Because we are sitting in an English course, we will go to E and then look for our course. Sure enough, ENC 2135 has a research guide available. On this guide, you'll find the information of our three subject area librarians. Jeff, Matt, and Jonathan are familiar with the ENC 2135 course and have worked with many of our students in the past. They are also happy to support you as you progress through your research process. On this guide, you can additionally find suggestions for database and periodical sources, a source on analyzing fake news, and a review of the 2135 library presentation. Not only do I want you to think about the ENC 2135 research guide this semester as you complete your projects, but I want you to remember that these are here for you to use in your other courses as well, so that you might use them throughout your time here at FSU. The Ask a Librarian tool is a live chat feature that allows you to talk directly to an available librarian during library hours. This can be a lifesaver. For instance, you are at FSU trying to locate a book that the site says is available. You locate the call number, go to the stats, but you cannot find the book where it is supposed to be located. Using the Ask a Librarian feature can help you figure out if the book is in a different location, like if it is yet to be reshelved from its last use, for example. Here's another example. You are researching at home and find a digital link to an article on the library website that will be perfect for your paper. But you click on the link and it doesn't take you to your article. In fact, it doesn't work at all. Using the Ask a Librarian tool will allow you to alert the library to the downed link but also connect you with an expert who might be able to find the resource you are looking for using a different strategy. Finally, there is this general search feature. This search looks through everything we have at FSU, all of the books, articles, databases, and websites. It can be great if you know exactly what you are looking for. For instance, if I'm researching eating disorders and want to include a first-person account, I might look for the critically acclaimed book Hunger by Roxane Gay. I'll type hunger into the search. Now here's the problem. 
The general search is finding every example of hunger across all of our resources. There are way too many sources for me to manage. So I'll specify that this is the title of the text and that the author is gay. Now my search has been narrowed and I'm seeing the book I expected to see. To check out this book, I'll open the link and see if it's available. On this call information screen, I'll see the author, year, key terms, and availability, and I can see this book is currently available in Strozier. I can also use this text feature, which will text all of the information to my phone. That way I don't have to write down anything. I can take my phone into the stacks and find the book. I might also use this citation tool. This is a great starting point for someone new to citation. However, these are rarely perfect citations. When you see the citation feature, the computer is organizing the information into its system to mirror certain citation styles, but it doesn't always translate formatting correctly. And if someone entered in the incorrect information, the software isn't smart enough to fix it. What I mean is that you'll need to proof and polish these citations but they are a fine way to start the citation gathering process. 